Joe Hutzler for LHSN after a great win. That's an understatement for Lynchburg men's basketball over Virginia Wesley. I'm here with Jay Allen. You and I talked right before the game. You said this was a different game. There was too much on the line for you not to have your best game of the year. And you did today uh, against Virginia Wesley. And what was going through your mind? What was the motivation for you? Um, these seniors, man. You know, this is only my second year here, man. And, you know, the old guys, they just became like my brothers, you know. And I just wanted to play my heart off for them, man. I didn't want to fall up short on my end for them, you know. I mean, they've been here. They had lost to Wesley all four years that they were here. You know, and they beat them on the most important night of their career. So I didn't want to disappoint them in that situation. Take me through just the overall team perspective of this game. You guys were down uh, but kept coming back in that first half, only down by one. What was the message at halftime that really helped elevate you guys to play better in the second half? Like Coach always says, you know, stay the course. You know, they hit a lot of shots. I don't really think they missed many shots in the first half. And I knew that wasn't going to happen in the second half. So, um, you know, we've been in this position all year round, man. You, you've been there, you know. I mean, we, we got them out every time, man, you know. I just knew we was going to rise to the cage like we always do, man. And, you know, we got more games, you know what I'm saying, down the road, but we're going to enjoy this one. This was a big one for us, and we're going to carry this momentum into the tournament. Absolutely. Soak it in, baby, and we'll see you next week in yes, Salem. Sir. Joe Hutzler for LHSN, now with Alex Graves after this tremendous win over Virginia Wesleyan. And as a senior, you guys haven't beaten Virginia Wesleyan at all. Today you do it on senior day at Turner Gymnasium. You guys are undefeated inside this place. What are your emotions right now? Uh, just ecstatic. I really can't even put them into words. I mean, we're, we've worked so hard for this. Um, had a couple of close calls with those guys and got away from us. But today we finished it off. And like you said, uh, not another better, another better day to do it. I can't even talk. You had just three points at halftime. You exploded in the second half. Do you attribute anything specific to that? Um, I think I just really calmed down. Um, I think I tried to force some stuff in the first half. Um, and I just, nothing was really falling for it. I just kind of settled down. I finally got into a rhythm. I got in foul trouble in the first half again, so it's hard for me to get into the rhythm. But once I came in, uh, my teammates just kept giving me the ball, and, uh, and they found me when I needed to, and I just executed. Uh, I mean, it was just energy, and it settled down, really. That's all I can say. In games like this and moments like that in the second half, sometimes players can point to certain things as far as being a turning point, if you will. Was there a moment like that in this game? Um, for me personally or the team? Either one, go for um, both. Well, for, for me personally, it was definitely the early jump shot I hit right out of halftime. I, I saw the ball go through the hoop. Uh, kind of got me going a little bit. I made a bucket or two after that, and it started rolling after that. As a team, um, I guess right at halftime, we were down one, and we, we thought we were in a good position being down one. I mean, they had shot the ball unreal in the first half. Um, but we came out, we just made a run at them, and then we really never relinquished the lead after that. So uh, that was really just came out of the locker room and just got it going right off the bat. You go and enjoy yourself tonight, man. We'll see you next week. Thank you very much.